Okay, question 25, y equals f of x, and the graph of y equals f of x is shown on the grid. And we're asked on the grid to sketch the graph of y equals minus f of x. Well, if, if it's minus f of x, that is simply a, a reflection in the x-axis. Um, so we'll still have the same point here. Uh, this point here will be reflected through here and end up here. And this point here is uh, 0, 4, will end up as 0, minus 4. So the, the graph doesn't get any wider at all, and it, but it does reflect in the x-axis. So it's a reflection. Now, if you had something, say, y equals minus, uh, minus 2 f of x, the, the graph will actually get bigger in a vertical direction, but uh, it won't change in the horizontal direction. But do check out our tutorials on translations or transformations of graphs. Um, and that is y equals minus f of x. Okay, and next part here. The graph of y equals f of x is shown on the grid. So there it is there. And the graph g is a translation of, of this graph. And we're asked to write down the equation of the graph g. Well, the graph we can see has shifted one, two, three, four, five, six places to the right, which means that g is equal to uh, y. Beg your pardon. G is equal to f of x minus six. It's it's shifted six places to the right, so it would be. Uh, f of x minus 6. If we wanted the graph to go to the left, it would be f of x plus 6. So that would make it go to the left.